So I found this Nike commercial that just came out 17 hours ago and it blew my mind because everything in the commercial was very satanic, demonic, um, the opposite of Christ, the opposite of good, righteous, wholesomeness, morals, and just things that we should possess as good human beings. So y'all watch. So without further ado, I'm going to hop right into the commercial to let you guys get a good look for it yourself if you haven't seen it already and um, hear everything that it's saying and then just make the observations and the conclusions for yourself like I did. And at the end, I'm going to bring my rebuttal about the commercial and what it is. Am I a bad person? Tell me. Am I? I'm single-minded. I'm deceptive. I'm obsessive. I'm selfish. Does that make me a bad person? Am I a bad person? Am I? I have no empathy. I don't respect you. I'm never satisfied. I have an obsession with power. I'm irrational. I have zero remorse. I have no sense of compassion. I'm delusional. I'm maniacal. You think I'm a bad person? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me how mean am I? I think I'm better than everyone else. I want to take what's yours and never give it back. What's mine is mine, and what's yours is mine. This is the most satanic, demonic commercial I have ever seen to be promoting just some shoes or some clothes. Like the amount of satanic agenda this commercial just promoted in one minute is beyond berserk. He said he was never satisfied, very selfish, um, has no remorse, wants to take what's, your, what's yours is his as well. You're not meant to be a winner. Like, everything belongs to him. He said he's obsessed with power. Like I said, and you, when he said he's obsessed and that he's um, never satisfied, only he hell, the Bible says that hell is never satisfied. It's always enlarging itself. And when he said the never satisfied part, it reminded me of our flesh. Our flesh is never satisfied. It, it, it's pushing us to hell. That's why we have to be born again. Um, and it reminded me of the lust of the eye, the pride of life and the lust of the flesh. And then he goes on to say, what's yours is mine. What's mine is yours. I have no remorse. I'm delusional. I'm in like, He said all these crazy things just to promote some nikes and if you're blind to the fact that a lot of these major um companies clothing lines clothing stores these celebrities clothing and shoes and their uh purses and make if you're blind to the fact that these people are sold out to say you shouldn't be anymore this nike commercial just made it clear they are so promoting this satanic agenda that it's beyond astonishing um, but it's not so surprising because, come on, we're in the last days. We know how these people are sold out. We know how the elites work. But to hear just in the first sentence, he was like, I'm selfish. Uh, what else did he say? Um, I'm full of myself. I'm incompassionate. I don't care about you. What's yours is mine. I'm taking from you. Like, there's a whole thing. Everything he said in this commercial was just wrong on so many levels. And it was just so satanic. And it's teaching. What is it teaching our children when they come across this Nike commercial? When it was like, what's yours is mine. What's mine is mine. What's yours is mine. I'm selfish. I'm prideful. I'm obsessed with power. I have no remorse. Uh, I have the big head. I'm delusional. Um, he was saying some crazy wicked stuff and it lets you know that i know this is a lot of things i know these are big brands and we want to share in them and we have shared in them for many years like nike and all that and you want to say it's not demonic but i think this commercial proves that nike has gone satanic crazy like demonic that is satan himself speaking on this commercial that is uh the voice of the wicked one the voice of the prideful everything in this commercial screams pride and delusion and wickedness and just abasing itself against all righteousness and humbleness and just 
normal thinking, a normal level of respecting people and what's theirs and and what is that line? Like there's a line that you draw on the sand where you respect people's property, you respect their character, and he's like, No, you're nothing. I'm everything. I'm taking yours. I'm obsessed with power. I'm crazy. I'm selfish. Does that make me a bad person? No, that makes you satanic. That makes you Satan. If all of the above, check, check, check. So you guys be aware of what you're promoting and what you're wearing when you're wearing Nike. I was going to give you some Nike tennis shoes. I was going to give you some Nike uniforms. And it's not for me to tell you what uh, you can do because you got the right to choose what you want to do. Um, but I would say be cautious because as for me and my house, we serve the Lord. And listening to, to that commercial, it's clear what side they're standing on. And it's not with the Lord. They're on the dark side. So me, I will not be uh, supporting Nike from now on. And that's tough because they have some fly jumpsuits I wanted, some shoes, but me i'm going to be withdrawing back because they're making it clear that they support a satanic dark agenda it's not even hidden it's in your face so um yeah i just wanted to bring this the commercial literally just came out like 15 17 hours ago where that was earlier today and it already had over a million views and it's what is it teaching the youth what is it teaching our children what is it saying about the clothes that we are putting on these brands they are sold out to say it. They are diabolical. They're demonic. He said, he said, I'm delusional. I'm selfish. I'm prideful. I'm full of myself. I'm full of power. I'm going to take from you. Um, you're nothing. I'm everything. Everything he was saying, like, y'all, if you ain't seen it, you've seen it now. Nike is sold out to say it. Not only that, but I realized when I did some research that Nike has a series of demonic commercials where it says good versus evil. It says they shot it in hell. It has like this demon with wings. Yo, Nike has gone full-blown satanic agenda, like, and it's not a surprise because these celebrities are going full-blown demon mode. And it's like, listen, I'm on full-blown Jesus mode, so I'm going to stay over here. I'm just going to stick with some Skechers, some moccasins, some little slide-in, like, you know, some some shoes that ain't name brand because they, they not, hopefully they not sold out to Satan because Nike is making it obvious whose side they on. And y'all just need to be aware of what you're putting on. Listen to these commercials because it's telling you what these people are doing when, when what these people are um, believing in when they're branding what this shoe stands for what the people that makes this shoe have turned to and what they stand for if you didn't know it before if they wouldn't say Tandy before it's clear that they are now so the choice is y'all the choice is yours but um, I made my choice and I'm just bringing enlightenment to it because a lot of times we as Christians just be putting on stuff and we don't understand that these people like guests I found out that guests was um, associated hi Uncle Curtis hello how you doing, Brother Omar? I found out that guest was associated with the satanic masons. Masons are very satanic. Um, I guess they got black ones and white ones, but um, my mama told me about the masons in the Eastern Stars, and they have that little pyramid thing, and you know that thing Jay Z be blowing up and Rockefeller and all that. But it's very satanic, and it goes back years and years and years. Um, but yeah, if y'all didn't know, guest was satanic too. That's why they always had a triangle. Uh, so be very aware that a lot of these brands that we are rocking. We gonna have to let go of. It's needless to say that y'all really shouldn't be wearing none from Beyonce or Rihanna. These are modern day witches that um who have, are sold out to Satan. Like they tell you that in their music, they tell you that. Now maybe we, we pray that they repent. I can't see I can't see Beyonce repent. I can see Rihanna repent before I can see Beyonce repent. And um I just feel like Beyonce made her bed, but um. Y'all got to stop allowing their celebrity and their beauty. I'm going to talk to the saints right here. Allow you to be wearing their stuff when it's sold out and dedicated on witchcraft and principles of the devil and satanic. This is how they're getting this power. They're using their gifts and their beauty, not for Jesus, but for the enemy. And they sold out to witchcraft. They're making, uh, that's why they always had that one Caucasian witch that be meeting with all the celebrities. You know, they doing stuff to receive this fame and power. So y'all need to be aware of these main brands and these celebrities that you're reporting when you're buying their stuff, they make up their jewelry, they clothes because they have demonic spirits behind it. These people ain't rocking Jesus. They're not serving Jesus. They're rocking the dark side. And at what cost? For millions and billions of dollars, that's not worth your soul. It's not. God got God on all the money in the world. The wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. We got gold to pay the gold and mansions in heaven. It's not worth it. Y'all be aware. Stay clear of Nike because Nike is going to full-blown demon mode okay and a lot of these other celebrities y'all need to stop wearing this stuff period period that's on period y'all pray about it please stop because it's full-blown demon mode and we, be, we need to be full-blown jesus mode good night